Hello guys, and today I'm going to show you a chess match, and I'm going to ask you, um, near the end, um, which side you think um, has the better position, white or black? Right, now let's start the game. The knight moves. The queen, the um, knight was is about to be pinned because if the knight moves, then um, it means. The queen will be lost. So the bishop is taken and the knight is taken, followed by a pawn. Now the queen moves. The queen is threatened. And it looks at the moment as if the um, rook is about to be taken by the black queen. Here the bishop has moved. And it looked as if it was threatening a checkmate, potential checkmate. Of some sort, so. So the knight was moved um, to stop um, what could have been the queen moving to there. As it says the knight was moved to block that. The pawn was moved to threaten the um, knight. The pawn was moved to threaten the queen. The queen now moves up to safety. And then the pawn was moved forward to threaten the queen. Now this is where I'm going to ask you to look very carefully at the position on the board. Which side do you think has the better position at the moment? White or black? Bear in mind the following. At the moment, black is threatening the queen with this pawn. And black is also threatening to take this fish, this nut, this rook. So black is threatening both the queen and the rook. And from a piece's perspective, it looks like. Um, but white could be threatening to take this knight with the hope then of taking this rook. That is what most people would see, maybe. However, it might be a red herring. 
what I've just said. So I'm going. So that may be helpful. It may not be helpful. There may be other alternatives for white. It is white to move. So, have you made up your mind yet? Which, um, do you think white has the best position or black? I'm going to give you another 10 seconds. I'm going to roughly count it down. 10, 9, 8, 7, Six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, that's just over ten seconds. Right. Now, you possibly thought that black had the better position because it's threatening the queen and it looks like it can easily take um, the rook. I'm going to astonish you. Black never has the chance to take either the queen or the rook. In fact, white has mated two here. And black has now lost the game. Just by moving that pawn forward, black has lost the game completely. And it now cannot win, no matter what it does, if white plays correctly. So what did white actually do? White moved here. Check. There was only one position that black can move the, their king to and they cannot move any other piece. Now Black moves the bishop to threaten the king. Checkmate. So from here, where it looked like black was actually white well, was in a very bad position, it appeared they were actually in an excellent position because they could get mate into. Were you surprised? Did you spot it? And by the way, um, I was playing white. Okay, so I won. Um, a link to the game is in the description. Thanks for watching. Bye.